Hi, my name is Amber. Welcome back to my channel, Books and Beaches. So it is time for me to do my February reading vlog for the spins that I'm doing for the two different book projects I have going on this year. One would be the 12 different books that I had 12 friends recommend to me. And the other would be the 12 books that I pulled off my, my shelves that I wanted to read in 2024. So as you know, I created Spinner Wheels back in January and I am going to spin from each of those wheels each month and pick the books I'm going to read and then I do a reading vlog. Now, one of the books um, off of the 12 books I picked off my shelves actually got removed because my library hold came in. And so I did read that earlier in the month of February. So I am just going to pull that one off the spinner wheel and that one you'll just see in my regular month wrap up uh, and it won't be included in a reading vlog just because that's the nature of how the library works and sometimes I'm just not going to be able to control when those holds come through but I wanted to continue because this will just keep me on track and getting through those goals for the year. So let's go ahead and see what these February spins bring me. All right, so as you can see, uh, my two different spins. The first one, I will be reading The Collective Regrets of Clover, and that is by uh, Mickey Brammer. And this was recommended by actually one of my sorority sisters from college, Noelle, so I'm excited to pick that up. And then the other one was Room by Emma Donahue, and that was a book that I pulled off of my shelves. Um, I know I have access to the audiobook uh, for The Collective Regrets, excuse me, Regrets of Clover, and then obviously Room. I have the copy of it off my shelves, so I will have to decide how I am going to go about um, taking that book in. So we shall see, um, but I do have a little bit of <laughs> a confession to make. So I am a little bit behind when it comes to filming, and so though I, I did those spins, before picking these books, um, I needed to film the intro of this video. So I've actually already started uh, The Collected Regrets of Clover. And so I am 29% out of the way into the audiobook already. So consider this kind of my intro clip into that audiobook. And so far, I am enjoying the narrator to the audiobook. It is a good narrator. Um, and what an interesting concept I guess this book is. I knew nothing about this book going in and I, I'm kind of trying to do that for a lot of the books on this list just because I wanted these books to push me out of my comfort zone, um, especially as recommendations, whether or not I had heard about them or not. And with this one, I know it was a book of the month choice at one point, but I don't remember hearing much about it. Uh, and our main character in, the, in this one is a death doula, which means she spends... Um, the last moments of someone's life with them, kind of just being there for that person and, you know, yeah, they're holding their hand, listening to their last reg regrets, listening to their last memories, being there for the family, you know, whatever it takes for them as they're, you know, living their last moments in life. Um, but she also lives a very lonely life herself. Um, now, I will say, being 29% of the way through the book already, not a lot has happened. Um, and now granted, we are building the story. Uh, she attends these like, I think they call them death cafes, uh, which pop up. She's in New York City and so they kind of pop up all around the city and they give people a chance to like go and talk about their thoughts around death, which is an interesting concept. And she does meet this man named Sebastian. I, I believe his name is Sebastian. Now watch, I'm remembering this, <laughs> remembering this wrong. And it's <laughs> me and name sometimes, even in books, the ones I'm currently reading. So I'm just going to double check here because <laughs> now I feel like um, I am going to forget. But, um, and of course it doesn't say in the subject in here whatsoever. But 
anyways, um, so we're still kind of in that building phase. So I can't say it's completely hooked me yet, but I know in a few of the brief reviews that I've seen, a lot of people said they thought this book was phenomenal. And I believe this is a debut book for this author. So I'm still intrigued. I'm not writing it off yet. Um, and something tells me this story is going to build. So yeah, we shall see. Um, I love that she's got a dog in this book. I'm pretty sure it's a bulldog and she talks about how she just like carries him around sometimes. So I think that's adorable. Uh, but yeah, I'm just slowly getting into it uh, and we shall see from there. Uh, but as usual, I will keep you all updated because, um, oh, and I, 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 sorry, this quote just stuck out. I'm kind of looking at, uh, the description on my Everandi app and this quote is, is quite, obviously caught my eye. So, and it says, what's the point of giving someone a beautiful death if you can't give yourself a beautiful life? So, I mean, that's a pretty gripping quote. So. I am by no means like giving up on this book, but I can't say like this beginning 30% is, is gripping me, but yeah, we shall see. So that is my first update uh, for this book. And yeah, as usual, I will keep you updated as I go here and we shall see. All right. I am just back from the gym tonight and I am about 60% of the way through the audiobook for the Collected Regrets of Clover. Um, and I'm still just kind of feeling, I don't know about it. So I, I guess I'm waiting for more to happen, which I mean, there's a lot of different storylines in this book, all surrounding around the same main character because her main character is Clover. So we have like one storyline that she's this death doula and we, we see her pick up this client who is related to this guy that she like meets at this death cafe who also she goes out on a date with. So that's kind of another storyline um, that we're getting. And, and then we find out, you know, she hasn't really dated anybody um, before in her life. And so like, that's, that's another little storyline. And we're seeing her, you know, form a friendship with her neighbor. And, and that's another storyline because she doesn't have a lot of friends. And, um, and then you're trying to figure out too, like, how her growing up with her grandpa connects to everything. And so I just, I guess I'm not finding myself connecting with the story as much as I probably should be for this type of book and and I don't think it's the story because I think it's written well I think the audiobook is done well so this is probably on me and maybe it's just not like to my interest level which is totally fine um this whole project and I've said it before and I said it in the last um video that I did in January like the whole point is to pull me out of my comfort zone and so yeah, I just, I'm not sure how I feel. So, um, I think, yeah, I've got about 40% of the way through. I may or may not finish it tonight. Um, got a bit of my, a uh, bit of a headache, a uh, bit of a migraine coming on. So we'll see if I finish it. Otherwise I'll probably end up finishing it tomorrow. I'm kind of looking at the audiobook here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm just kind of curious on, you know, where this will all go, like, will, will she find confidence in herself? Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know. So, but it, it has such great reviews. So I guess I'm expecting something big, but <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm going to try to like keep this spoiler, spoiler free. Um, cause I never want to ruin anything, but yeah. Um, those are my thoughts so far as I am, like I said, about 60% of the way through. So we shall see, but more than likely the next time I come back and update you will be when I finish this book. So we'll see you then. All right. So I've just finished The Collected Regrets of Clover, once again, by Mickey Brammer. And I'm kind of, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. 
Um, by seeing all the reviews and seeing the rating on Goodreads, the rating on Goodreads, I think was like a 4.18. I had such high hopes, hopes for this book because, and I think even a lot of people that like I follow on Goodreads gave this book like a four or a five and they just said they absolutely love this book. And I do not think it is a bad book by any means. Um, I think it's written well and I believe it was a debut. So I don't think it's bad. I just don't think I had the emotional connection to it that I was supposed to. <laughs> so um, like I've said in many other updates here, you know, we've got our main character Clo Clover, who is a death doula. And, you know, she does see a client all the way through. And, and there are some really unique connections um, that she makes and some lessons learned. And, and she is just a unique character as a whole. You know, there's some quirks that she's got about her and a lot of life lessons that she needs to learn. And there are definitely some touching moments to this book. And so I can understand where, as I looked through some people's reviews, I can understand like the feelings that they got while reading this book. But I just didn't have that emotional response like they did. So I'm kind of struggling with where I want to rate this one. I, I think I might settle on like a three and a half just because... I don't feel like it was a four because I know where I usually rate my books that are a four and it wasn't a two because I, 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 I didn't I didn't think it was bad I don't think it was I don't think that like and like I said I, I can I respect it that it was well written I maybe maybe a good way to say this is it's, it's, a, it's a me problem it just didn't emotionally impact me probably like it was supposed to so and and who knows it could be a myriad of things. It could be just the way that the mood I was in when I read the book. Who, you know, like, I have no idea. I'm coming off of reading a thriller before this one. So I have no idea. But I just, I was expecting more of an emotional impact from it. I guess it's the best, best way I can say. And, and it doesn't help that I read a super emotionally impactive historical fiction already in February. And so, like I said, that book you're going to hear about that book in my wrap up and that book like wrecked me. It was so good. And so compared to this one, like this is just meh. So yeah, I think I'm going to settle on a three and a half. Um, I, and I think I probably said this before. I, I t this is one that you're going to have to take my review with a grain of salt because clearly a lot of other people loved this book. Um, and you may, interpret it in a different way than I have. So I, I don't think it's bad by any means. And I think it can be a very touching story. But in my moment, it's just okay. So and there's nothing wrong with that. So that is the final part for this book. And now I'm going to move on and pick up the second book of this blog. And that will be Room by Anna Do Emma Donahue. So I will update you once I get that one started. All right, so I am here to make an update about Room. I have decided right now to soft DNF this. I am just not in the mood to read this. And so I know I, know I want to pick it up, but I just, I can't get into it right now. And I tried reading it. I tried the audiobook and I think I think I'm gonna do the audiobook because I like like the five-year-old voice, but I am just finding myself struggling and I don't think I wanna push myself into trying to finish it right now, knowing that it could push me into like more of a slump that I wanna be in. I mean, I don't wanna be in a slump at all. So I'm going to soft enough it for now. Um, and that way I can wrap up this video because it's already going to be going up way later than I expected. Um, so uh, I'm trying to keep these videos kind of within the month that uh, 
I spun for, but in this case, it's just not gonna happen. And that might not happen. My goal is to be doing these books, you know, one a month, but hey. It is just the nature of reading and reading is supposed to be fun. Um, this is more of a guideline for myself than anything else. So um, I'm gonna try to keep myself on track as much as I can, but it is what it is. And at least I'm still reading. That is what I have to tell myself. I am just still picking up things that I wanna pick up. And since I am not feeling this one right now, that is a-okay. So that is all that I have for this vlog. I hope you are enjoying these updates and, you know, reading along with me. I am not one to just kind of throw, throw random stuff in my vlog. I would just rather do um, reading updates because that's what works for me. There's not much else exciting going on <laughs> for me otherwise. So as always, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.